Yo, what is up guys? It is Skarm, and for today's video, I'm going to be completing the Giovinco SBC, and this is his Scream card, and it's an 86 rated center forward card. In my opinion, a decent looking card, definitely not the best value of cards. You could probably get players like Mertens or Insigne for a better price and for a better card, but this card definitely does look fun, and I definitely will be completing it. He is a 5'4", high medium work rates, 4 star, 4 star, so some good stats right there. Height really doesn't matter in this game, so the height really isn't an issue either. His pace definitely is, and therefore I would definitely recommend you guys use a Hunter chemistry style or a uh, Catalyst chemistry style on this guy, so you can improve his passing and his pace or his shooting and his pace. Really up to you guys. But apart from that, his stats do re look really, really good. Of course, like I said, pace isn't the greatest. Shooting is pretty good if you can boost it a little bit with the Hunter. He has 88 long shots, which is really, really good already. He has 98 free kick accuracy, 96 curve, 86 short passing, 81 long passing. And the main stat that I really do love in this card is his dribbling overall. Everything in this dribbling is really, really good. 83 composure, lowest stat in there, and it definitely is not a bad stat either. Nothing special in defending, shouldn't really expect it from a 5 foot 4 forward. And then in physical, nothing really special either. Stamina is kind of low. Strength, you really shouldn't expect anything from the strength. But of course, stamina, if it was a little better, this card is really, really good. If you guys are using him as a super sub, stamina really wouldn't uh, matter. But now on to the SPC itself. This is going to cost you guys 40,000 coins to complete. And the Italy section will cost you guys 27,000. The Atomico section will cost you guys 13,000. Now to move on to the Italy section, you will get yourself a small prime gold players pack. And like all my solutions, there is no loyalty required in this SBC. And these are players I did use. And that is the Italian section completed. I'm going to go submit that and move on to the next section. All right, and now to move on to the Atomico section. The reward for completing the section is a Jumbo Gold Pack. And like all of my SBCs, like I've said before, there's no loyalty required, as you can see. And these are players I did use. And that is the Atomico section completing. That is also the end of this Sebastian Giovinco SBC. And now to move on to the packs. Alright, time to open the packs. I'm going to be starting off with the Jumbo Gold Pack. What will I get in this? Probably nothing. But hopefully I do manage to get some of my coins back from this SBC. Non rare in the first pack. Very, very unlucky. Alright, so this pack is worth about 5,000 coins. Really, really bad pack. 77 rated non rare as my best player. So now on to the next pack. Alright, final pack. Small prime gold players pack. Will I get anything good from this pack? Probably nothing. But come on, yay. Give me something good. Come on. That is awful. That is going to be 82 rated Santi Cazorla. Alright, so this pack is worth around 4,000 coins. Meaning I made myself 9,000 coins back from packs. And I got some awful, awful packs. The SPC costed me 40,000 coins. And after packs, I saved myself about 9,000 coins. So I definitely recommend you guys complete this SPC. If you guys are looking for a fun player. If you guys are on the edge, I'd personally recommend him. But... Other than that, guys, that is going to be the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out.